Oi, oi, mobilisi. Hey everyone, today I'm going to teach you how to RNG uh, Marshadow, and I'm going to go over the few things that you're going to need to uh, to do that. So, um, one of the first things you're going to need to do is be saved right behind this guy in this Pokemon Center. This is the Melee Melee Pokemon Center, you can see in the map screen. So that's all about that. Um, you're also going to need the Eon Timer program in the lower right hand corner. Um, and other than that, just soft reset your game once you're saved. Um, okay, so out of game, you're also going to need this program right here. It's the uh, 3DS RNG tool. Link in the description to it, of course. Um, so you're going to want to go to the Event RNG tab. Uh, but before that, you're going to click Tools, and you're going to do the Gen 7 Main RNG tool. And a little window will pop up, and I will send that to you guys right now. So it's right here, as you can see. Um, and so what we're going to do first is figure out what our initial seed is. Um, so by doing that, uh, all we have to do basically for that is kind of line up these ending positions here with the game. So you'll, you'll see in a second. It'll be right here. So there we go. And you have to do this like eight times, I think. Sometimes a little bit more. Um, uh, it can be kind of hard to do at first, the uh, first few times you're doing it, but uh, I recommend recording it with like a phone or something so you can play it back. Uh, because as long as it's just on the file select screen, um, it never advances the RNG. So you can just record it and play it back and be sure you got the right numbers. Um, but eventually you'll get good enough at it where you can just kind of fly through it like I am. Um, it's easiest on a 3DS or new 3DS XL. Um, smaller the screen, the harder this is to do. So there's that. All right, and I have two results. So you got to do it one more time when you have two results. All right, and I was like this one, and there we go. All right, now that you have this, just leave this window kind of chilling here for a little bit, and we're gonna we're gonna throw this bad boy back over here, and we're gonna hide this. Should have hidden that. All right, so we can just leave it on that window. This is the main screen for now, and uh, in here it'll automatically paste the seed over to you. Make sure you're playing this correct game and correct like region. Um, so what we're going to do is pick the Pokemon. It is Marshadow, obviously. Um, just all you have to do is click Marshadow. Nothing else. You don't have to click anything else. Over here, we're going to do uh, Marshadow is 50. I want a Hidden Power Ice. Uh, I want... There's a few natures I could go for, but I really would like Naive or whatever the other one is. Like Hasty's not... Where is it? Well, it's not as good, but whatever. Adamant. Jolly's not that bad either, honestly. Um, the ability can't be anything else, and then this is how many IVs you want to be perfect, so I would like five. Uh, and then the last thing is if you do not have Marshadow already, or you don't have it registered in your Pokedex, you have to click No Dex Entry. Uh, and there you go. And then you calculate, and bah, it'll give you what you can get. Um, this is super good. This is exactly what I want, and I have four frames to get it. Um, now, what you are looking for is, um... Uh, how do I say? Um, you're looking for multiple of the same thing in a row. Um, hold on one second. There we go. I have to save a setting on timer. Okay, so you're looking for multiple of the same thing in a row. Um, and you don't want the question marks. Like, like, so if I lower this to like three or something, right, I'll get a bunch of results, you see. Now the question marks mean um, you it, it might not be safe, and I'll t sometimes there's a bunch of stuff in a row like this on a question mark, like, and it would be worth the risk. But I find that it often is not. So you can get rid of the question marks by hitting safe if only, but it does lower your potential results. So I actually, since we had such a good one, uh, these this is just really good. I only have to hyper train one stat. Um, so we're gonna right click this. Hit set as target frame, and then back in the other tool, boop, uh, you can see it right here. It'll have it here, and you just hit calculate, and it tells you what the set Eon timer has. So I'm going to type in Eon timer in the bottom thing. It says target frame. We can get rid of both of these for you. Uh, it says target frame. I have to. It, you can't see the pop up, but it just tells me what to type it as. So one three seven zero eight. All right. So. 
I have it set to 13708. Now, the only other thing is the pre-timer. The pre-timer should be um, 2500 if you're on a new 3DS, and 3500 if you're on an old 3DS or a 2DS. It's the same situation. Um, so with that out of the way, uh, you're going to hit start on Eon Timer and your JS at the same time. And you're just going to chat this dude up. And you just kind of wait here. And then you're going to hit A. Uh, and when Eon Timer ends uh, right before, like, you're going to hit A as Eon Timer ends to receive the March Shadow. Um, so to explain why you want more of one thing in a row, real quick, um, what I what you want about that is, as you can see here, I have it highlighted, is every frame is one sixtieth of a second. So the more frames in a row, the like, because you're you're trying to hit it on a specific sixtieth of a second. So the more in a row uh, that you have, the bigger chance. So now I have four sixtieths of a second to get what I want instead of one. That's pretty much it. Uh, with that out of the way, I'm going to pause the video for you guys so you guys don't have to wait with me. All right, we got 15 seconds left, so we're just trying to time our A button press with that of Eon Timer hitting zero. So hopefully we can not screw this up royally. All right, and since I don't have it registered in the decks, it does take a little bit, but hopefully <laughs> this works. <laughs> Yep, 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 yep. Alright, let's see what's up with Marshadow. I guess I'm not going to start again. <laughs> I get Marshadi, Marshadi and Z. Right, let's check him out. Let's check out the boy. Uh, I don't know if this is the right health. <laughs> Alright. So you're the wrong nature, so this thing's wrong. Uh, let's see what's up. So to figure it out, we open the 3ds RNG tool and we take a look at we click the using stats option. So in using stats, we just kind of type out what's going on. So I uncheck ice, I check quiet, and then we just type our stats in. So let's see what we got. 165, 137, 100, 102, 110, 170. And hit calculate, and it'll show you what, uh, hello? What happened here? I am perplexed, I will be honest. Two seven. This is what I was aiming for. All right. Wow. So I basically was like two frames early, maybe. So in this kind of scenario, there isn't much you can do about this. I, I was aiming for, for one, I got four eight. There's just not much you can do about that. Um, so I'm just going to try again. Uh, this time I'm going to go through the steps a little bit quicker. Uh, let's see here. Clear this out. Not too rough. So far, a fairly easy pattern. And I like to do one more just to double check my results. Everything's fine. Uh, I want to check something. Uh, 
All right. So what we do here is go back to the other thing. Do a quick little transition. Baba doop. And I go back to this one. Uncheck quiet and hit calculate. Let's see what we can find. Holy crap. 24 seconds in, there's a five perfect stat. Adamant Marshadow. Oh, I unchecked Hidden Power Ice, though. Ah, oh, that would be so sick. Well, let's see what we can get. Oh, we got nothing. We got nothing. This would be sick, though. If I could get this, it's only 24 seconds in. Hold on. Well, let's see if I can find anything better. Ah, oh, naive. You're pretty sure Hidden Power Dark. None of the hidden powers are interesting. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna do this. So I wanna hit set its target frame. Go back to the other window. Calculate. One four six six. So I'm gonna set it's that. Alright, and then we'll hide this for you guys. And we start. It's only 20 seconds, so. So at this point, pretty much all you can do is hope. Uh, <laughs> it's such a short time limit. I think there's no reason to not aim for this one. Uh, plus having six stat is just pretty cool in general. You can do some kind of choice band set. Okay. Let's see what we can get, baby. And it comes with more shadium to use this guy. More shadium. It's gotta be the shadium. Just because that's how the words pronounce. Anyway. It's the correct HP value. Uh, he is adamant, so let's check out. So that's a good sign that he's the right nature. So let's go check out his stats. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna go into we're gonna pop this in for you guys, and we're just gonna type out the stats I got going on here. Uh, so I got 159, 100, 99, 110, 145, and calculate. And as you can see, it is correct. This is a perfect stat marsh shadow. Uh, that's pretty sweet. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you next video.